it's the most important aspect of this is the companies that are using digital to supplement their customer journey, not to try and replace elements of it. Now, inevitably, there will be certain transactions, certain tasks that will be effectively replaced. But the last thing I think any of us are wanting to see in the any of the hospitality or travel sectors is the roboticization of something that is ultimately all about the personal experience and the personal interaction between a host and a service provider and a consumer. So it's the companies that are, are thinking hard hardest about this are the ones who are using technology and digital digital platforms to supplement their existing customer journey and add to the overall consumer experience rather than being accused of somehow removing a fundamental element of it. And I, I do think whether it's, um, you know, we, we saw it with a card, the likes of Ocado and Amazon, this sort of transformation of of what consumers are prepared to do, or indeed what younger generations of consumers want to do, we've probably seen 10 years of movement in a year, just as we have done with online shopping in the application of technologies to hospitality businesses be helpful. In on some ways, it's been clunky, clumsy. Um, it's been a little bit confusing at times, but it's been of a necessity brought on by the pandemic. Um, and I do think it is absolutely here to stay, whether it's the booking points that Jane was referring to, or frankly, just removing the turgidity of a payment experience. And it's the companies that are thinking about which elements of the customer experience the consumer would happily get rid of um, and are, are seeking to make sure that their digital solutions um, can address those needs or address those concerns. Um, then moving it into, into so much more than a transactional relationship, which then becomes the role of reviews to drive the marketing profile of a business, the role of loyalty to actually maintain customer engagement long since after they left the premises. And again, it's the that are thinking about how, how the whole thing can be brought together as part of what you might describe as sort of a multi-channel approach, using the lessons they've learned during the pandemic, or indeed the behaviours that have become apparent from consumers during the pandemic, embedding the best bits of that, but not allowing this new sort of digital way of doing business to, to overpower the most important aspects of the customer experience and the whole hospitality service experience, which are fundamentally at the heart of what we do.